Well, I'm starting on a new piece today. It's going to be a sunset sky and I've already painted the, it's on a gallery wrap canvas to where the painted uh, image goes all the way around the sides of the canvas. So I've already painted the top of the canvas with a mixture of white plus my mud, which the mud is two parts ultramarine blue to one part alizarin crimson. I have to climb up, climb up on a stool to get the top, so I've got that done and now I'm starting adding now a mixture of my that same mud mixture. I added a little bit more white to it and some alizarin crimson. Now we're lightening the sky just a little bit along the edge here. The sun's going to be coming up right here. So the sky gets lighter and more color in it. Now I'm moving to a mixture of my alizarin crimson plus some cadmium orange plus a little bit of cadmium red light plus the white. And this this starts giving us that glow in the sky to get at the sunset. Come along here and it catches some of these clouds up in here. On a cloudy day you get beautiful, get some really beautiful sunsets where the sunlight starts warming all those clouds. We're going to let a, bit, a little bit come along this mountain and I go ahead and paint around the side of the canvas a little bit. Also going to bring a little bit of my alizarin crimson in there just to warm that sky a little bit. Now I want to clean my brush out. I dip it in my thinner and then wipe it out with tissue. This gives me a clean brush. The secret to clean, bright, crisp color on your canvas is a clean brush. Now I'm going to use a lighter mixture of my cadmium orange plus a little bit of cadmium red light plus white. We start coming down to where the sun sun's just peeking out of the clouds. These clouds are real warm. A little bit of light catching the clouds up here. Now I'm going to bring that darker mixture just a little bit up here. Now I'm going to grab a smaller brush. And we'll do this real bright area down in here. This is a mixture of my cadmium orange plus a little cadmium yellow medium. It just starts getting that golden golden color and we'll let a few little catch a few clouds here. Now this is just going to be in this area where the sun is just setting down behind those mountains. And that sky gets just a real warm Now we're going to have just the tip of the sun in here, and this is a mixture of that cadmium yellow medium and cadmium orange. I've added quite a bit of white into it. So that's just going to just be there right over the tip top of that mountain. Oops, that's a little bit dark there. Let's come back in and dark in this area right here. And I may need to lighten that sun. I'll know. I may have to come back later and do that. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to wait until I get my mountain in there and then we'll be able to see. And then some of this gold from the sun just catches these clouds just above it. I'm going to use some of my darker color, my cadmium orange plus cadmium yellow medium. Just, but that those those lights are just right, directly above where the sun is. And 
there's our sunset. I'm going to now put in this mountain. I'm mixing some ultramarine, my purple up at the top of the sky. I'm mixing some ultramarine blue into that. That's going to be my most distant mountain. So I want it to be bluer so that it recedes. Cool colors go back, warm colors come forward. And blues, or purples are your coolest colors, and then yellows, oranges are your, your warmer colors. So this mountain, again, we just want that. back here and soften this edge, soft edges also go back, and I am going to lighten that sun just a little bit, don't want it too white, we're going to have white daisies in this field, and that sun's going to catch the tops of them, this mountain will block the light into this part, but the sun coming down will catch our daisies in there, but you couldn't see that. I realize that's out of the frame of the picture. But I did show you the um, sketched in piece at the beginning and I'll show it to you at the end and you can see what I'm talking about. I forget that I don't have the full frame in there. Now below the sun in this mountain, the sun, the warmth washes into that. So I'm going to take some of that blue and just warm it up a little bit using some of my sky color. And this just washes into that part of the mountain. And you can just softly pull that in. It's not real prominent, but you do want to show, just have some warmth there. And then as we get away from underneath the sun, then we go, we have that blue. And then I don't want this little line along the horizon there. There's our sun setting, our setting sun. And then I'll continue to paint forward. My mountains, they'll become warmer as we come forward. I'm also, one thing I am going to do real quick here is when you have a mountain range like this and you're up high, there's a mist that settles in between the mountains. And I'm going to go ahead and just put that mist in. It's just a little bit lighter color of that blue. And that just, that's going to help separate the layers of the mountains. But you get that mist in between the mountains. In fact, they call the Smoky Mountains. That's, that's what they are talking about, is that moisture in the air collects down in between the mountain ridges, and it, it's lighter. You get that mist down in there. And let me bring up a little bit more warmth back here, just under that sun, as it warms that mist. There we go. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my channel and also visit my blog. The link is in the description below. I show the complete step-by-step -step process of my paintings as I work on them. The address is also on the final frame of my video as well as the address for my official website. So again, I really appreciate you visiting the studio today and just remember Today is a great day to have a great day.